Welcome back here on Sports Locker Sunday. I'm Angela Morian. It is my pleasure to welcome to the show tonight a man that has been quite busy over the past few weeks gearing up for the upcoming football season. Please welcome with me IU head coach Tom Allen. Tom, thank you for joining me. How, is, how has things been for you this offseason? Busy. Been good, though. You know, it's obviously that time of year when you summer's wrapping up and fall's about to start, so it's an exciting time. You got a great schedule looking up, especially the home schedule. Penn State, Purdue to end the season, Michigan. How exciting is this for Hoosier fans to have such great caliber talent coming right into Bloomington? Uh, it's fun. Fun to be a part of. We open the season against Illinois. We have another Big Ten opener for us. The fourth one since I've been the head coach there. And, and uh, that creates a lot of excitement right out of the gate and a chance to be able to pack the stadium and have an awful atmosphere. Last season wasn't really the season you expected after two great seasons before. Winless in the Big Ten, 2-10 and ten overall. You said that was one of the most difficult seasons of your career. What, now that you've had time to reflect, what can you take from last year's season into this year's season? Well, you always go back and evaluate, and we did that very thoroughly in, in every possible way, you know, especially when something happens that, that is so opposite of what you expected to have happen, you know, so, but you just go through and then you make those adjustments and then you, you press on, you know, we were able to bring in the number one recruiting class in the history of our program, you know, in this off season and be able to blend those guys into our team. And, but I think it was a, a just a big emphasis on going back and evaluating things that maybe uh, you try to figure out why things went wrong the way that they did. And, and, and sometimes you just have to uh, learn from that and press on, you know, and so I, I feel good about where we are, but obviously we got a lot to prove. There's no doubt about it and and our team feels that way our coaching staff feels that way and I think that's a big part of this year the biggest question I think this offseason has been the quarterback yep. battle Jack Tuttle returns after dealing with that foot injury last year you also have Missouri transfer Connor Belazak who was a really strong SEC talent where is that battle situated right now what have these guys shown you that you've been impressed with well, you know, we come through spring football, and I thought it was very, very even. And uh, so we kept that competition open throughout the summer. And so, I, you know, I think to me, they both continue to show their tremendous work ethic and, and ability to continue to master our offense and, and win the locker room. That's what you got to do in that position, you know. And Dexter Williams also in the mix. You know, he's had a great offseason, had an ACL tear a year ago, and he's coming back from that. And so just a lot of competition in that position. But that's, uh, that's the one everybody asks about, and that's the one that's pretty critical. Speaking of Indianapolis native, Donovan, and McAuley. He had some starts last year, four starts at quarterback as a true freshman, but there's been talks of moving him to the receiver position. Where can we expect to see him this year? Yeah, you know, he is going to be moved to receiver, you know, and uh, he actually came to me and uh, I wanted to move that position and uh, different different things we talked about. He's just such a competitive guy, such a great athlete, uh, one of our best football players. Uh, definitely still see him in the packages at quarterback and the things he can do with his skill set there. And uh, But when I have a chance to get involved on special teams, and then a chance to get involved in receiver, and, and uh, I'm excited for him, you know, and he's got a uh, tremendous skill set, awesome young man, so I can't wait to see him blossom. The offense is getting kind of a big overhaul, especially with new offensive coordinator Walt Bell coming from UMass. What can we expect to see from this offense this season? Well, bottom line is is that uh, it is definitely uh, a change in coordinator, for sure, and, and uh, some things we're going to do a little differently, and uh, we're going to have a chance to, to showcase that on September 2nd, you know, <laughs> so the, the whole world's going to have a chance to see that at that point, so I'm not going to give anything away regarding that, but uh, excited about his leadership, excited about uh, the guy's response to him and our, our staff on offense and, and at the end of the day you got to score points you know and that's the whole objective. You picked up two huge running backs to add to your team from Auburn, Sean Shivers from North Carolina, Josh Henderson. What have those two specifically brought to that position that excites you about where the running backs are? Yeah maturity mm -hmm. you know you know Sean being a senior and, and uh, uh, Josh being a junior and, and having a couple more years to play and so I just think that you know physical bodies you know that uh, they're, they're older more mature mm -hmm. uh, just tremendous work ethic, uh, great speed by Sean, uh, great power by both. I think the thing that, that Josh brings to the table is just so much versatility. He's going to help us on special teams. He's so solid in every area, running the ball, blocking, protections, all different things. Really smart football player. Uh, so I, and, and both and both those guys are very selfless. You know, guys that just want to help this team, you know, be great and do great things together. And so anytime you have that kind of mindset on your, on your football team, it's a great thing. Let's talk defense now. I know that's your bread and butter. You've decided to take over the the defensive play calling on the sideline like you did your first two years as IU's head coach. Why make that switch this year? You know, for me, I just... Uh 
wanted to get back to some things I feel like that uh, has made us who we are and, and uh, the ability for us to um, do a great job of, of creating takeaways and, and playing with fanatical effort and just being able to uh, to be, you know, the, the foundation of your team, you know, because when you got, when you stop people, you know, and you have a chance to, to give your offense the football and with field position, it changes everything, you know. And so to me, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, that that's the one thing that we can hang our hat on and we know where we're going to be and how that's going to be effective for our team. And so to me, the buck stops with me. So to me, I'm in charge. And so I just want to be able to make sure that that area is right. How would you describe your defense this year? Oh, and just to me, I, I love the guys we got coming back. You know, our secondary is very experienced. We got some really good football players and Taiwan Mullen and Jay Will and, and, uh, and Monster, Devon Matthews, you know, but uh, those three guys have played a lot of great football for us. And then you got Cam Jones back at linebacker. So a lot of experience in the back end. And then we got a lot of guys up front, just physical, mean and nasty one guys that fly around and play with a lot of confidence. Media poll came out this week. There's a lot of doubters out there, Coach, for your team. How is this team and your coaching staff going to use that, though, as motivation to prove all those doubters wrong this yeah, year? Just chip on your shoulder something to prove. You know, it was the opposite last year. Mm -hmm. Everybody telling us how great we're going to be. And, and uh, so bottom line is that stuff doesn't matter. You know, it, it's how you prepare your ability to be able to have discipline and focus every single day and, and to be able to play at the highest level. And, and to me, it's just about one game at a time. And right now, the preparation is getting ready for, for week one. Coach, you're so big on camaraderie. We've, you've got the players over to your house for yeah. cookouts and pools. But most recently, you had them in the basketball court. Had a little fun day. Yeah. Uh, receiver Eli Yoakum was <laughs> dunking like a Harlem Globetrotter out there. You had your yeah. quarterback, Connor Belazak, hitting threes. How fun of a day was that for your team? It was awesome. You know, we have a, you know, a lot of team building activities. And we have been able to do those mm -hmm. collectively because of the pandemic the last couple of years. And, and uh, we're able to have the guys back in our house again. And, that, that's huge for team building and, and just team chemistry and just relationship building for me with our guys. And then they had to just have some fun. You know, uh, they work so, so hard every single day. Uh, it's, it's a long two month grind in the summertime. And so we had our guys in assembly hall shooting three, shooting free throws, they had a knockout contest and they had the dunk contest, as you mentioned. And Eli, man, he was absolutely flying. It was awesome. <laughs> Matter of fact, our head strength coach, he called, he's like, I'm telling you, that guy, he's got like a, over a 40 inch vertical and he's pretty special with that. So I know Mark Cooper has some special dunks. As well, so but the bottom line is, it's just a chance to compete. Had cornhole going on on the side <laughs> for all the linemen that can't jump and can't shoot, and uh, had some fun with that. But it was cool. The Titans actually won the competition, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Coach, for joining us. We're looking forward to the season, and good luck. You're welcome, Andrew. Thank you. Appreciate it, Elio. You're watching Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network.